All right guys, I did it. I bought my first brand new electric unicycle in over 18 months, the InMotion V12. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why I chose to buy this electric unicycle using footage from a loaner wheel that I had from eWheels. Thank you eWheels for letting me borrow that wheel. Chooch now has that wheel and he's making great content with that. Make sure to check out his channel when you have the chance. Now that I've unboxed two of these in motion v12 electric unicycles and i've had the chance to set two of them up i've learned a couple other things that should have been in that 20 things video the 20 things about the in motion v12 check that video out if you haven't already but one of the things i want to add is charging this thing takes a long time the reason being if you see here it charges at 2.3 amps that is not very fast comparing to some of the other electric unicycles on the market. I plugged this in yesterday when I first got it. It took about six hours to charge it to full. Uh, it came with reading about 30% charge. The other thing too, out of the box, you're gonna have to download the InMotion app onto your smartphone, Android or iPhone. You're going to have to connect that app with the EUC before you can even get it started. The app asks for personal information that I'm not super comfortable giving to a random Chinese company, but you need that so that you can get this guy started. So when you do it, just give it the bare minimum, activate the EUC. Really, you can do most everything you need on this touch screen. There are a few things that you need the app for, uh, such as naming your vehicle, changing the icon, or thumbnail. You can see there I've named it. This is my one wheel, not that one wheel this one wheel. I'm going to turn this off. In order to turn it on, you have to have it upright to press the power button. It'll turn it on. You'll hear the sound. For me, I have a passcode set on it, so not anyone can just start riding. You have to actually enter in the passcode before it starts. Now it can engage, and now you can ride it. You may ask why I need another personal electric vehicle. I've got all these wheels to ride. Well, the reason being is I love electric unicycles. They're a ton of fun. They're, in my opinion, the best way to get around. So portable, so maneuverable, hands-free so I can film. They're just a ton of fun. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna share with you why I chose to buy this InMotion V12 as my first electric unicycle purchase in over 18 months. Let's get started. As a husband to a beautiful wife and a father of four kids, Safety is always on top of mind, and it doesn't really matter how fast or how far an electric unicycle can go if it's not safe and if it's not reliable. I think we have something that's quality, safe, and reliable here with the InMotion V12. The InMotion V12 is the most versatile wheel on the market, hands down, and let me tell you why. Having a 16 inch diameter wheel, it has the torque and the power, the zip, the nimble agility of the smaller wheels. So there was a windstorm last night and it must have knocked down all these cones. I'm gonna help them put up these cones and then I'm gonna use this to just play around. A Little bit of service, a little bit of fun. Another reason I love the 16 inch wheels is it's a combination of power and nimbleness. If you get the right 16 inch wheel, it's not, unwieldy like the larger wheels. It's very nimble, yet you still have power. I like that combination. The portability, the power, and the nimbleness. Powerful wheel, nimble wheel. It's kind of a happy medium between the two. You're not gonna be able to get the speed of the big wheels like the veteran Sherman or the range of those higher end wheels, but you're gonna get very good speed, power, and range. And maybe that's enough for what you need. The InMotion V11 has some pretty neat, innovative features never seen before on any other wheel. Through the touch display and also on your app, you can customize the settings, kind of digitally shape the settings to how you like it. Do you want to go harder? Do you want to go softer? Do you want the, the pedals to be more sensitive, less sensitive? Uh, how do you like the angle? You can adjust that all through that touch screen. It's pretty amazing. The other cool thing too is, never seen before on an electric unicycle, being able to adjust the pedal height. Before, you either bought an electric unicycle that had high pedals or low pedals or you found someone that manufactured pedal hangers, you hang your pedals from these pedal hangers, and depending on the height, you could go higher, you could go lower. With these pedal hangers here, you can actually adjust the height. Do you want it higher? Do you want it lower? Right now, we have it set on the highest setting. Let's say you're a beginner rider and you don't want to be so high off the ground, you can set it down to its lowest setting. If you want to go faster and try to avoid speed wobbles, 
play with this, uh, the height. So pretty innovative, pretty neat. So I'm here at the office and I wanted to share with you my daily driver. It's the Gotway Nikola. I think to understand a reviewer, you have to understand where they're coming from. I ride a 16 inch wheel on a daily basis. Fit and finish on the in motion is fantastic. Some people have said that the in motion V12 is the Gotway killer, the uh, RS killer. Hopefully I don't have to worry about it killing anything. I want it reliable and I want it safe. Hope you understand where I'm coming from as a rider. I do love the 16 inch wheel because it's nimble. It has the power to get me where I want to go, yet it's not too big and not too bulky. The InMotion V12, you know, now that I've been comparing both of these, just riding them side by side, very nimble. I have it on the highest pedal setting and so you're higher up off the ground. Lights brighter, speakers louder, kickstand. It's got that sound that it emits while you're riding, which gives you this positive feedback to make you want to keep riding. Trolley handle is more steady. You know, the only drawback I see with the InMotion V12 compared to my Nikola is the braking power is quite soft. Hopefully they can change that on future upgrades. Otherwise, the V12 beats out the Gotway Nikola, hands down. Let's go. I'm not a high speed rider. I'm not a stunt rider. I'm just a cruiser. I like going out, enjoying these leisurely rides. This is what the display looks like from the rider's vantage point. So, a couple things. Not having the power pad set up, obviously it rides different from what I'm accustomed to. We're gonna have to get some pads on there. So far, loving the ride. Let's keep going. I wanna take some pictures of this wheel, but uh, I don't have anything to clean it off with. I do have some old masks in my backpack. Put these masks to good use now. Here's another example of how awesome this kickstand is. Now, when I need both hands to do something really quick, like to set up my camera, instead of just dropping my wheel on the ground, I can use the kickstand. And uh, look at that, amazing. Right, I found this parking garage so I can show you how bright these lights are. Normal lights, your high beams, and both lights. So not too bad. I will say, turning feels great on this. When I go fast, I'm getting a little bit of speed wobbles at times. I think that's because I need to put on some power pads, but turning feels great. I love it. You've got the power, you've got the torque you need to make these sharp turns. Me too, nothing. This wheel is silent, there's no fan. It uses a heat sink to keep itself cool and because of that, you don't have the fan noise like you do with some of the Gotways, like the Gotway Monster Pro, that fan is so loud. I was riding that and recording the other day, I had to turn off the EUC every time I wanted to do a speaking point just because it was so loud. In this case, this baby is quiet. Love it. I do appreciate a good trolley handle, and the trolley handle on this is good. Um, so you have a switch here at the front, you push on that, it comes to this locked position. There's a little bit of play forward and backward, but side to side, it's rock solid. The handle is centered right over the center mass of the wheel, 
which makes for easy control as opposed to some wheels where the trolley handle is way in the back and it makes for an awkward feel. Uh, one of the things though about the trolley handle that could be improved, this rubber thing, yeah, this rubber thing comes off really easily. Other than that, it's a good trolley handle. The InMotion V12 is going to be my new daily driver. It's replacing my Gotway Nikola, which my son is out riding right now. With the InMotion V12, I'm going to be using it for fun, for commuting, and for filming these other videos that I will be making on these personal electric vehicles. I'll also make more videos on the InMotion V12 if that's something of interest to you. You can read my full review on this electric unicycle at eucguide.com, that's my blog. Any purchases made through my links go towards helping the channel. Special thanks to the folks at eWheels. I purchased this InMotion V12 for my own personal use over at eWheels.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, when you ride, wear your safety gear.